Hello, third grade scholars, and happy Marvelous Monday. My name is Miss Law, and I'll be guiding you through our writing lesson for today. Today, we'll be writing a personal narrative or a memoir. Because our objective for today is, writers can share a story from their spring break vacation. So we're gonna be going back down memory lane to think about some fun things or some scary things or some amazing things that might have happened to you over the spring break. But before we start, I want you guys to think about what is a personal narrative? Go ahead and take two seconds, think about what a personal narrative is, and then talk to your parents about it. Exactly. A personal narrative can be a short or long story about your personal life, which makes this a non-fictional text. Absolutely. So before we get started, I want you guys to start off by watching a video. While you're watching the video, I want you guys to be thinking about three things that this character puts inside of her personal narrative that explains the events inside of her text. All right. Dear Diary, today our soccer team lost a big game. It was the first time I played goalie, and I was nervous. The players were really fast. I couldn't block the ball. I tried my best, but I still feel like I let my team down. Hi, Moby. I'm writing about what happened today. Okay. Sometimes writing in my diary cheers me up. How can you keep a diary or a journal? Diaries or journals are books where you record what happens in your life. You can write about what happens every day or about something you want to remember. I like reading old entries and remembering what I did or how I felt. This one's about how I broke my arm. I marked this entry because I think it'll make a good short story for school. Sometimes I write things that I don't want to share. <laughs> but sometimes I want to share information about myself. What is an autobiography? An autobiography is a book that a person writes about their whole life. This book is about Benjamin Franklin by Benjamin Franklin. He wrote about where he was born, being a vegetarian as a teenager, his science experiments, and signing the Declaration of Independence. An autobiography describes important events in a person's life. When I write my own autobiography, I'll use a timeline to organize all the big events in my life. A timeline shows events in the order they happened. But I don't have to write about my whole life. How do I write a memoir? Memoirs are stories that tell about parts of your life. They can be about how you thought or felt during different moments. Well, I wrote about the time I was in the school spelling bee. I really wanted to win, but I misspelled a word. I was pretty upset, but my friends made me feel a lot better. My story shares everything I felt the day of the spelling bee. You're writing a memoir too? Last summer, I went to New York City. I saw the Statue of Liberty. Then I went home. You need to give more details. How did New York City look? What did it sound like? How did you feel when you saw the Statue of Liberty? Writing about yourself can be a lot of fun, and it feels good to get things off your chest. Uh, not exactly, Moby. 
You, put that back. Now that we watched the video, I want you guys to think back on what Annie said. What are three really great things that you can put inside of your personal narrative or your memoir to help to create the whole text? That's right. You want to first start off with one story. You want to zoom into that story and share the details about that one particular moment that's happened in your life. Number two, you want to describe the things that are happening in the story. Maybe you describe the way it looks, the way it sounds. And last but not least, you want to make sure that it's a non-fictional story about your personal life, right? Now, let's take a look at this personal narrative checklist. This is going to help us to be successful as we write along in our text. So the first thing I want you guys to be able to check off is focus on a small moment in your life. So since we're writing about what has happened over spring break, I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about an event that you like to write about. Fantastic. Some of you guys talked about the time you spent the night of your cousin's house, or maybe that fun game of Uno you played with your friends or your, your parents, or maybe you talked about Fortnite or watching TV or watching a good movie, or maybe you helped make, helped make breakfast with your parents. So you want to zoom into that one event that happened, okay? The next thing that you want to check off is the one, twos, and threes. You want to talk about the sequence of events that have happened. You don't want to start off by talking about how you cooked with your parents with, now we ate the pancakes. You want to start off with your first event that has happened in your story. So you want to say, I woke up early in the morning and my mother asked me if I wanted to cook breakfast. So first I had to go in the kitchen and grab all the ingredients. I was extremely excited. So you want to start it off like that. Then you want to talk about what you did next. Then what happened? And finally, you want to wrap it up and tell us what happens at the end of your story. The next thing we want to check off as we're writing our personal narrative is we want to describe the people, the places, and the things that has happened in our text. You can describe those things by describing how things smell. So if you made bacon that morning with your parents, you can talk about how it was crackling in the pan and it just smelled like deliciousness coming from the pot. Or if you had a movie night and you guys made popcorn, I like to put hot sauce on my popcorn. I'll, do you guys like to do it? Gary, do you like putting hot sauce on your popcorn too? Okay, so then you want to talk about how things sound. So maybe you watched a movie and it, you had surround sound so you can hear it all the way in the back room. Or you can talk about how things felt, you feel, or what you saw as you were spending the night at your cousin's house. Maybe you guys went into a, a back room and it was dark and it felt real creepy and you saw maybe like a little, you thought you saw a ghost running past the room, right? The next thing you want to check off as you're writing your personal narrative is how you felt, okay? Think about how you felt when your mother first asked you to make pancakes in the morning or the excitement that you felt when you knew you were going to spend the night at your favorite cousin's house. Or maybe how you felt whenever you lost the game of Uno and all you needed was one more draw four, okay? The last thing that you want to discuss in your personal narrative is you want to use a little dialogue. So you want your characters to talk or you want to talk about what you said to your parents. So maybe if you're like, your mom's like, would you like to make some pancakes with me? You're like, oh yeah, I would love to make some delicious pancakes. Can we put strawberries and whipped cream on top? Those are all the things that you want to add to make a whole personal narrative. Again, step number one is to focus in on a small life event. You don't want to talk about going to Disneyland and all the rides you rode and then you came home to go to a hotel and then you guys went to sleep and woke up the next morning you want to zoom in to what happened when you finally got home to the hotel and you guys decided to stay in and watch a movie okay the next thing you want to think about is the sequence of events so when you're writing your text you want to think about what happened first what happened next what happened then what happened last 
You also want to give some really nice, juicy details. Who are the people that were in your story? Where are the places that you guys went? And what things can you describe with your smell, the taste, the sound, how it, feel, how it felt? The next thing you want to describe is how you were feeling on the inside. Were you scared? Were you anxious, afraid, excited, exhilarated? What were the things that you were feeling on the inside so that your character, or I'm sorry, the reader can relate to your personal narrative? And lastly, you want to talk about what you guys talked about as you were going through that personal event. Usually when you go to your cousin's house, you guys have a little banter, or maybe when you're watching a movie, everyone's like, shh, be quiet. This is my favorite part. So you want to add the dialogue to make your story juicy and detailed so that your reader can feel like that experience is happening to them as well. I'm going to give you guys about 40 minutes to write your personal narrative about one event that's happened over your spring break. Now, I've decided that I'm going to write about the time that my family and I played a really fun game with Uno. But before I can get started, I want to start with an introduction that's going to really grasp the attention of my audience. This will be the time that I would call on Travis Wright. Travis Wright always has really great ideas about how we should start off the text. I want you to think about how you can start off your text, a way to grab your reader's attention in the first sentence. All right, go ahead and share that with your sister, brother, or parent. That was fantastic. Here's how I plan to start my text. Last Friday, night was one of the best Fridays in history. I think that's going to grab my reader's attention. They're going to be like, oh, what happened on last Friday? Okay. The next thing I need to do is to start talking about what happened first. I want to make sure my sequence, my order is correct based on how I remember what happened to me in that one specific event. On last Friday... Booker, Roxy, Ariel, and I were bored sitting on the couch. I decided we should play a game of Uno. So I asked. if anyone was interested. Would you like to play Uno? I said Oh, yeah, said Booker.
Okay, let's just go over what I read or what I wrote. Last Friday night was one of the best Fridays in history. On last Friday, Booker, Roxy, Ariel, and I were bored sitting on the couch. I decided we should play a game of Uno, so I asked if anyone was interested. Would you like to play Uno? I said. Oh, yeah, said Booker. First, I'm going to stop right there, but I'm going to give you 40 minutes to write about a personal experience, a personal narrative, a memoir. And I want you to add some details. Remember to be thinking about our checklist. First, you want to zoom in to one event. The next thing that you want to do is that you want to think about the sequence or the order that things happened in. The next thing I want you guys to be thinking about is how can you describe the things that happened? Who are the people that were there? What was said? What did you guys do? How did it smell? What did everything look like? Then you want to talk about how you felt. And lastly, you want to use dialogue to describe people's thinking inside of your story. Thank you guys so much for joining in this Monday. You guys continue to enjoy your marvelous Monday. And I'll see you tomorrow.